That's a big crowd. Sounded good. Yep. Chris, how did the week go for you? Good week. Uh, you know, I think you can feel the urgency of the guys. Been practicing a long time. To get ready to play the season. You know, it's a little bit different than other sports. We only get so many opportunities. With a year-round preparation, really is what it is. And so it's time to play. I'm excited. Coach, you're probably not thinking about that team over there, but how much of your imprint would you expect to see on them on Friday? I, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about our imprint on this team right here. How has your starting quarterback handled the duties of the starting quarterback <laughs> position this week? Well, we actually went with 10 guys on offense this week. We're still making sure that <laughs> we can decide the right thing, and so we'll get that. We'll get him some reps in the next 48 hours. They've done, done well. They've done well. Everybody's done a great job from, from our quarterbacks. Uh, we've got a lot of guys with a lot of different roles. We're going to rotate guys in a lot of positions, and uh, I think guys are excited to play. Were there enough rumors and speculation thrown out this week to satisfy you? <laughs> you, you would have to tell me that. You know, I, I don't really pay attention to that. So if that happened, I appreciate it. <laughs> How how important is cycling players going to be given Boise State's experience they return up front, offensive line, defensive line? Yeah, that, that, that has nothing to do with Boise State. That's just kind of our style. We have a lot of young guys that we have to get experience. That's not going to change after game one. We're going to rotate guys in. We're going to get a lot of guys work. We've got to build depth, and it's kind of the process as we go throughout the season. You mentioned this team maybe feeling a little bit like the team you had at Boise a couple of years ago with a lot of young talent and everything. Does this game feel at all like when you came here in the 2013 opener against a, a maybe a little bit more experienced team on the road and that kind of thing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to know. I mean, I think every team is different. You know, I, I think we have some good players. I really do. we got some good talent. And I'm just excited to watch these guys grow. I know they're going to as the season goes on. Uh, you know, I think we'll be a much different team in a couple of weeks. But I think we're going we're gonna to do some good things in, in two days. When you were at Boise State and you scheduled this home and home with Washington yeah. at the time, why did you think it was why was this series that was appealing to you to put well, on schedule? I think there's been two Pac twelve teams that have gone into Boise in the entire history of Boise State. And so for us to at that time get another one to come back was a big deal and it still is. I just didn't know I'd be on an opposite sideline or that probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> but you did you did get a sense at the time from from fans and everything that that was something they were excited about was to, to play Washington at home in a few uh, years. There's no sense in the fact. I mean, I, I know from when Oregon State came over and when Oregon, what, what that means to, you know, because not many people will go in there and play. Do you think your kids are looking at this as a great opportunity to kind of make a statement right from the start? And... You know, I, I think these guys are just trying to take care of themselves, you know, and, and make sure that their game is right and then you have a chance to go out and have some fun and compete is what I really think. I don't think it's about – you know, us making a statement or anything like that. I think it's just about us time to go play and, um, you know, play against some different guys and they've been competing against for a real long time and see where we are. Chris, did this week of work confirm your belief in your, in your plan, specifically with Florida? Absolutely. Yeah, we feel good. I think we, you know, we took about as much time as we could deciding what we were going to do. And, uh, and I think we feel very good about it. You mentioned playing against other players. How, how, how long is it going to take some of these kids to – Oh, yeah. with the speed of the game here, all of a sudden we're kicking off and yeah. overwhelming a little bit maybe. Well, and uh, it will be a little bit different. You know, I mean, the opening kickoff all of a sudden, guys are running a little bit faster than they do in practice <laughs> and on both sides. And so it's, uh, it takes a minute to get guys up to speed, but I think the kids, um, you know, they adjust fast. By the end of the first quarter, I think guys settle in a little bit. You know, I think, you know, the, the ball security is always a big thing, the first games, because – Last, uh, you know, however, how many days, couple weeks, eight, nine days, there's not a, not a lot of hit in the ball carriers mm -hmm. throughout the country. And so now everybody gets ramped up to speed. That's always a big issue. So there, there's some things that is going to be different, but I think our guys are prepared. How about, how about your health? I think we're pretty good. Um, you know, I think you go, you got a lot of guys, and, uh, you know, we got nobody um, – no long-term things at all, and uh, I think we feel good about where we are. Hey, like, just like how aggressive can you be on both sides of the ball, considering you're sort of used to it? We got to play our style. You know, we got to we got to play our system, and you know, whatever that is, whether it's aggressiveness or not aggressive, 
you know, Coach K on defense, we got to play our defense. We got to play our style. We got to play the things that we believe in on all sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, there's been no perfect games in the history of football. And this one won't be perfect as well. And that's, that's what we tell our guys. I mean, they got to go play fast, and then we'll go fix the things uh, next week. Um, but we got to play our style. Do a, do a, you often open the full playbook to your young quarterbacks or, or like, whoever is back there? Do, like, they have the full playbook, or do you have to dial it down for them just a little bit? We, we always do what we think gives us the best chance to win. And so nobody goes in with their full playbook. You know, you put your playbook in in spring and you put it in fall camp. And then when you get to game time, you tighten it up. You can only call so many things, you know. I mean, sometimes you're probably around anywhere from 75 to 85 calls. Sometimes some other, you know, go fast teams will get in the hundreds. But those, I think, are rare, rare occasions. So, again, when you look about how many calls you're going to have in a game, I mean, how much practice can you, I mean, what can you really call? You know, you always hear these things about guys having, you know, 150 plays going in. I mean, that, you, you can't rep all that stuff. You're not going to get those calls. So we don't really go that way. We tighten things up and hopefully get guys in to dial into what we're actually going to do. If, if you didn't know your opponent's quarterback, how dramatically would it affect your preparation? If we didn't. If, if, if you had an occasion like this where the, the, your opponent, you didn't know who your opponent's quarterback was going to be. Um, again, I think you got to just play your style. Yeah. Um, now, you know, uh, if you don't know their style, mm -hmm. that, that's a little bit more concerning. But um, you play your style and you try to figure out what their tendencies are. I think at the starting of the season, that's always, that's always tricky. Guys are going to do what they do, but everybody has new wrinkles on both sides. And so that's what you're always leery is as a coach. And so you got to keep things relatively, you know, you got to do what you do to give yourself a chance to defend all the things you don't know are coming. Chris, any unique adjustments or steps that you took to try to combat the environment? No. Um, you know, we, we got the crowd noise going. Uh, we usually have that when we're on the road anyways. Um, we've had that going, for, you know, for a while. I mean, we play music at practice anyways. And so, you know, the music for me um, isn't to get us excited. I'm excited out there just being out there. It might be for the kids, but they don't even know. Halftime, all we're trying to do is take away the verbal communication. And so that's been going on for a long time. Um, but we made sure we had enough of it because noise will be an issue. Didn't roll out any blue turf to practice on? We did not do that. <laughs> we did not do that. It was all green. <laughs> hey, I guess how does your knowledge of the Boise State team, uh, I mean, obviously you recruited all of the starters and I think like close to 50 of their players. Does that help you at all this week? Um. You know, I mean, I don't know how much it helps us because our players have to go play. I mean, we can give them a pretty accurate breakdown of what we think the strengths of those guys are, and they got good players with a lot of strengths. And then the kids got, you know, we have to be able to simplify that stuff on tape and say, hey, here's what we got to do. And again, it comes back to us playing our rules. They're going to have things that we haven't seen, and are they catching off, off balance, and can we make adjustments on the sidelines? I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. So, you know, I, I, I don't think it's as – situation where we have this tremendous advantage because we know some of those kids. I mean, our, our players got to go play. It's kind of what I meant by imprint. Is it, is it going to be like looking in the mirror for you? Are you going to see what you see in practice here? Is that kind of? I think, I think they're different, but in general, our styles are similar. Mm -hmm. There's no, I mean, you know, all those coaches were with us at one time, right. one way or another, and so the styles are similar. And uh, do you think that, that this game will be maybe one of your most unusual games or maybe – uncomfortable games just because you again you recruited those guys and and now you're here and you know just how will that be the only time this thing really gets uncomfortable is you guys asking me over and over again <laughs> how uncomfortable it's going to be you know finally we're going to go play a game and so that's what we like to do is coach games and play games and so you know 48 hours we're going to go play a game excited about it all right thanks everyone thank, thank you guys